Well, hello again. It's been a little bit. But then again, it kind of seems like that seems to be the way my schedule works anymore. It seems like... It's, it's always like two, maybe three weeks in between a single video. I don't know, but... I guess... I'm just not very good at maintaining a schedule. Besides, you know, like... Like I've said in some of my older videos way back whenever I first started my channel, I never really planned on making YouTubing a professional career of mine. So it'd just be kind of more or less something I would tune into to share some stuff, which seems to be my claim to fame here is the big ass cruise ship. The, uh, not the SS. Turns out somebody educated me on the fact that SS stands for steamship. And considering the fact that it's an American vessel, I would say USS Atlantis, but then that kind of makes it sound like a naval vessel. So I think I may just have to make it up and just call it the US Atlantis. Hence the name below the, below the smokestacks. So, past few videos, I've been kind of doing a few other things in Minecraft, and I've kept saying time and time again we would be coming back around to the big cruise ship and kind of checking up on anything that I've done to it recently. So this is just another one of those progressional videos, yeah, I call this episode 3 if you will. And this is going to be a little, I mean, I, I guess, every time I say that I'm going to make this video short, it never ends up being short, it always ends up being like 15 or 20 minutes. But anyway, I guess just to be honest with you, there's only one thing that I've done to the ship here recently. Well, actually not even recently, this is kind of a few days old. And you can see it right here. I've actually started getting a lot of the, well not even a lot, the um, a majority of the internal cabins, yeah, the interior cabins inside the ship towards the front of the superstructure. I only have just, the, just these few lots here sitting up front, the rest of the ship I still need to put them in. And I've been kind of cheating with this just to kind of make it look like it's taking up more space because each one of these bins is entirely hollow. So this is just really nothing more than a uh, pretty much a place. It's not even a placeholder because this is as big as the cabins are going to be as far as interior goes. And all you pretty much got to do here is just go inside and put in the carpet and then put in the ceiling above it and then put in the carpet for the next floor directly on top of that put in the side walls and pretty much the cabins are complete and all they need to be done is furnished. So, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much just about it. And I guess I've come to find out something about myself as far as minecrafting goes, because it seems like to me, whenever I go to build stuff in Minecraft, or kind of like my, uh, what is it, my Minecraft build swings, I, I was going to say mood swings, but build swings, I'm going to call them build swings, because what I mean by that is, like, it seems like it comes to me in waves, like, there will there will be a time where I have, like, a really good idea about what I want to add to the ship, so I'll go in and add it, and then feel like I'm making a lot of progress, and be like, oh man, I'm going to keep going, try to see how much of this I can get done, try to get it done, you know, so I'll, I'll end up, bit, like, staying on it for, like, several days, maybe even, like, two weeks, at a time, just kind of building stuff, building stuff, building stuff, and then all of a sudden I'll just kind of hit like a, just drop like a rock and hit a low, and then just kind of get completely burnt out on Minecraft for some reason. And I won't play Minecraft for like maybe a good week or two, and I'll end up getting sidetracked by playing a bunch of other games. So, as far as progress goes, as what I've done to it as of the last video, the interior cabins is just about all I've got done. Although, I guess, as like a little bit of a teaser, if I go somewhere in this general direction, if you recall the last video I did, you know, episode 2, the subscriber special, where I was showcasing a fellow subscriber's crew, uh, ocean liner build, which was a steamship, um, between me and him, you know, off camera, we were kind of talking a little bit, and we kind of gave ourselves a challenge. He challenged me to build a more of a steamship style vessel, and I challenged him to build a bit more of a modernized cruise ship. So in other words, we're kind of like swapping hands a little bit. And this, I kind of got this built up in just a little under three hours. And it's just basically the bare bones skeleton of what will resemble a ship sometime in the future. And it has a bit more of a steamship vibe, old school, you know, twin funnels, it's supposed to be an ocean liner. But I kind of gave, gave it just an ever so slightly modest slash moderate, if you, yeah, modernistic, modern, eh, what's the word I'm looking for, modernistic vibe? So 
I guess if you wanted to compare it to like a real life steamship way back from the 1950s and 60s, I guess it would be the um, the SS Normandy. I'm pretty sure it's what it was. But anyway, um, although considering the fact that whenever I was building this ship, I kind of wanted it to have a little tie-in with you know like making my own fleet with you know a big the big cruise ship being over in that general direction. I was I kind of carried over some of the design traits from my big cruise ship and threw it on this one. Like, for, of course, example, you have the wraparound, you know, front superstructure with the glass and stuff. There's going to be a pull up front. Then you got the twin smokestacks. Rather than being side by side, they're one in front of the other. But they're, the st they're still the same color, same pattern, but these ones have the lean back effect. And you'll notice that the overall design of the superstructure, it still has the um, indention in the top half of, of the superstructure, just like my giant cruise ship, where, you know, it's fat up front and in the rear, but it kind of bumps inward towards the middle. So, I mean, that's pretty much, you know, all of the similar characteristics that this ocean liner build's gonna have as far as the um, big cruise ship goes. So in case you were wanting, well, you probably weren't even wanting to know this, but now you know. I kind of got myself into a little bit of a challenge with a fellow subscriber, so, yep. This is kind of like a, a back burner ship build, but it's there to say the least, and I already have an idea as to what it's going to look like. So, I guess that pretty much sums up episode 3. Everything that I've done to the cruise ship as of recently, and any new news that might be going on with me, and someone else, and other things, and yada yada yada, so on and so forth. So, maybe this might actually be a short video, because I am going to be saying goodbye now. And let's see, how do I always do this? Oh yeah, I always leave it out with a, um, you know, you take care, enjoy the day, have a nice day, and I'll see you next time.